Hello everyone, this is Yamin and in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can add multiple column in an existing table in Laravel. So here you can see I have a table called student and I'm going to add three more column in this table. So for it, first of all, what we need to do is that we need to go to our command prompt, project command prompt and over here we need to write this command which is php artisan make clone migration and after that we need to say here add underscore let's say multiple underscore column then we need to give a underscore we saw our here two and after that we need to mention our table name and here you can see our table name is students they say s at the end so we also need to write that as well so we saw our here students underscore table so we write over here php artisan make migration at multiple column to students table after that just press enter and if you press enter it will create a migration in the database so right now we'll go back to our code and we'll go to our database folder and inside database we have migrations and here you can see in the migration here you can see a file at multiple column to students table so we'll go over here and then we're going to write over here the column name so here we're going to say dollar table this arrow sign will show over here let's say string to first bracket to single quotation and let's say we'll add a column called student id so we saw over here student underscore id and we'll also mention after which column we want this student id so here uh, you can see that i have a column called age let's say after age we want to have the student id column so for it all we need to do is that we need to shower here after to first bracket single condition we shower here age and we want to add two more columns so right now let me just copy this and i'll paste it over here and this time it will be image so here i am going to set image and it will be after student id so i'll shower here after student ID and after that let me just copy this we are going to say over here this one will be for description so here instead of string we are going to say over here long text and here we are going to say description and the description will be after the image so we are going to say over here image so we have added three columns so right now we will go to this down function here you can see public function down so in this function we are going to say here dollar table this arrow sign we saw our here drop column seal with capital then to first bracket and we need to give to third bracket so here we are going to mention these three column name which is student underscore id image and description so we are going to show our here student underscore id and you need to keep this inside single condition after that we saw our here image then we saw our here description and ended with a same clone after that just save it and we are done so right now all we need to do is that we need to write this command which is php artisan migrate and press enter and there you can see running migration and it is added so right now if we just go back to the browser and let me just refresh our PSM admin once you refresh there you can see you have three more column over here student id image and description so this is how you can add multiple column in laravel in an existing table so i hope this tutorial was useful to you if you want more tutorial like this then make sure to subscribe so thank you very much for watching and i hope to see you in the future tutorials